Hey guys, it's me Nina and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a handstand. So this is what your handstand might look like and if it does look like this that is totally fine because by the end of it it shouldn't. Tip 1 is to hold a handstand against the wall. This will help with your form and the way it feels to do a handstand. So you will not fall in the walls there obviously so it will be a lot easier to land this way than doing it on the floor. Also do it against the wall this way but make sure that you're pushing the hips, your hips against the wall and you can feel the wall on your thighs. Also laying on the floor in a handstand position is getting you into the right shapes and idea. So let's say someone pulls your legs up and if you are tight you will go into a handstand shape. So when you're laying on your front make sure to push your um, tummy and hips into the wall and when you're on your back make sure to push your back into the floor not wall sorry also when you're doing this make sure when you're lying like this to be pushing your back into the floor and when you're lying on your front like that to be pushing your hips into the floor otherwise it's useless doing it and on both of them squeeze your ankles together and thighs down now for ha um, tips on how to hold your handstand for longer. So once you've done all these steps, just keep on doing them and keep on trying. And once you've got your handstand pretty much there, we're going to be working on how to hold it longer. So this is what your hands should look like. As you can see, when I'm leaning forwards, I'm pushing my fingertips to push me back. And when I'm leaning back, I'm pushing my fingertips into the floor to lead me forwards. The reason this helps is because it balances you and that makes you hold your handstand for longer. I hope you learn your handstand and if you already can do your handstand, hold it for longer. So I love you all. See you soon. Bye.